you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. What was your relationship with, with Tupac? And do you consider Tupac being from the Bay? Or do, you, do you feel like he is from the Bay Area? Or what's your opinion on no, that? That's us. That's us. That's Bay Area. He got all his game from the Bay. Like, okay, you, you, was, you probably learned how to rap in New York. You probably know how to act. You know, the theater and all that in New York and ba I mean, not New York, but Baltimore. But he came to the Bay and got the game. That was hanging with my cousin, the Gov. You know what I mean? Them gave that the cloth. He was up under some real mob. He was over there in the jungles in Marin. They on they some real crazy out there, too. You know what I mean? So between them two, the, the jungles and, and with, you know, Gio and Richie Rich and them, he got the game firsthand. You know what I mean? So... I think, like, listen to how he rap on All Eyes on Me. And it's like, he rap like an Oakland, a Bay Area, more than a New York. Yeah. To me, you know, so, um, and he's from Baltimore, Baltimore, not New York. So it's like, come on, my Like, Baltimore is grimy like Oakland. Yeah, for sure. Same. You know what I mean? So, um, and Marin City, wherever he was at, you know what I mean? So I think when he got the game, like, like when I said I got the game from my cousins and my uncle and them, they had to put me in the game. Yeah. I think Gov and Richie Rich and all them Bay Area niggas that he was hanging around really gave him the fucking game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to uh to um to uh, my brother uh Ray Love. Ray Love was in a group with him, but I assume Ray Love gave him the game too. You know what I mean? So. People like that, the niggas that was tied in in the streets and shit, you know what I mean? Along with Digital Underground, giving them the shot out, the uh, the major shot, um, taking them on tour, giving them the game, soaking up the game, which is being on, on tour, fucking with the industry. Yeah. Um, yeah, a combination of all of that, mate, you know, come on. You got to give it to the Bay. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, the Bay put them on. Shock G put them on. Yeah. That's the Bay. And, and Shock G is from New York. And we still claim that. That's the Bay, nigga. I don't give a fuck what part of Brooklyn or Flatbush that nigga is the Bay. We take that. That's our guy. Yeah. yeah. But you, he, he could be born out there and yeah, raised. We, Shock G is our nigga. Nah, Just like sure. Pac. Pac is our nigga. Because they blew up in here. Yeah. Just like Rage. Lady of Rage. What is she? West Coast or East Coast? When you think, is she ours or is she theirs? I feel like... Lady Corrupt. Rap. Corrupt. Or, or, uh, Corrupt. Is he is he what is he ours or he bears? Because he's from there. Yeah, but he, he blew ours, up he over he here. Blew, he blew, blew, blew him up. If you blew up here, I feel like you you gonna be you already know if you blew up over here. If you coast, blew up here, you us. Yeah, for sure. Nigga, they didn't know about you rapping over there. They didn't know about Lady of Rage rapping over there. They didn't know about Tupac rapping over there. Them niggas came out here, blew up, and made a name. That's us. I don't give a fuck. That's us. Just like uh, 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 Drake say, what he say, uh, 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 Atlanta, Texas, whatever his little shit. Yeah. That's what made him, not yeah. Canada. Yeah. I consider Drake a Texas nigga. Yeah. That's what made him. No, you're right. <laughs> not Canada. I'm sorry. I don't know what part of Canada. Oh, Toronto. I don't give a fuck. Up. He's from Texas with the mob ties. Yeah. Cause they made him. Oh, he in Miami with baby, one of them. Yeah. He says it. Texas, Atlanta, my whatever yeah. type of little lingo he got for them three spots. Yeah, they are who he is. Now you're right. So, now, yeah, Pac is from the Bay. <laughs> yeah, that's ours. Fuck that. And as uh, far as me knowing Pac, I met Pac. I hung around him, but on the speed dial, like far as the motherfucking beeper number, I never had Pac beeper number. Oh, yeah. I wasn't his, his, his uh, peers. I was younger. Gotcha. You know what I mean? I gotcha. So I'm even hung with Gov, my, my cousin. Yeah, you said, and, I was yeah, saying, they you was did older. Yeah. Cousin, yeah. They was older. So I'm the outlaw's age. Yeah. I'm them niggas' age and shit. But the most uh, phenomenal time I had with Tupac was um, the fucking um, E40 video shoot with uh, E40 and Too Short and fucking uh, Jodeci video shoot, Players Ball. Yeah. That motherfucker they had it in um in, in fucking Malibu, bro. Oh wow! Pop pull up in that bitch, right? We all in the camper, all in the trailer and shit. You know, between scenes you be in a trailer, so we in a trailer smoking and shit. Just E40, the Mossy, uh, fucking um, 
Everybody in that bitch, short, you know what I mean? All the town niggas, pop pull up in a black drop top bins. He got a, you know, a van with him. All the outlaws hop out the van, pop, you know, pull up in a motherfucking trailer. Pop, like, let me put this shit on. He click, they shut this, boom. This nigga start playing Machiavelli. Wow. Nigga, the fucking All Eyes <laughs> on Me just dropped. That's crazy. This nigga playing Hail Mary. Hail Mary. This is summer. That's crazy. Of 96. He's playing Hail Mary. The, the shit that dropped until he died. He played. We like, what the fuck? And, you know, on that album, he got better. Like, his rhyme skills was way better yeah. on the Hail Mary and all. He got way better. He gas it. He spit. He got all the new diamonds and shit, new Rolex. He going crazy. He got the Versace shit on. He had the blue and gold Versace on. With the diamonds, when they glisten, I'm paying attention. He going crazy. That's this is crazy. Like, that's crazy. That <laughs> Joe Claire is right there. Everybody. That's it's not crazy. Joe Claire. Niggas is like, Pop just shut the fucking trailer down. <laughs> Outlaws there. Nigga, Young Noble there with shorts, big ass Timberland boots. Nigga looking like they fresh from the East Coast. But that was the most magnificent, spectacular moment I ever been around Pac is when a nigga played Hail Mary. That's pretty sad. Before fat. it ever came out. Before he died or anything. This shit was right. How, how can you, like, literally, in the summer, this is like right when All Eyes on Me came out. We we still on, like, the third single or something, like, Toss It Up. We don't Toss It Up. Toss It Up. He just did a video with uh, Hella Hunter. Yeah. This nigga come in playing. When I, 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 when I shut it down, man. So that's my most memorable and dopest that, that time. Is dope. I, I ain't gonna lie. That, and that's then that's also, dope. man, like I was supposed to be on um fucking um goddamn um One Nation. For real. So Numb was able to get on it because he was at the studio. So I was locked up in L.A. County. Drew Down was able to get on um on uh, All Eyes on Me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was the only one. And then when I got in the studio with Pac, when I was finally free. We bumped heads, you know what I mean? Like, so I wasn't able to get a song with him, you know what Wait, I mean? Wait, what? Oh, why, why is that? Ah, man, we had Can Am, right? And I'm going to, Pac got the first studio. Snoop got the studio in the back. So you walk in the building, first doors to the left, Pac studio. You keep going through, it's like the little lounge area. Go more to the back, it's Snoop and them shit. So we had Can Am. So I'm instantly going to Pac shit, like instantly, boom, going Pac shit. Pac is coming out at the same time I'm going in. Yeah. I ain't got no weed. I'm like, Pac, Pac's smoking on a fat blunt coming out. I'm like, Pac, man, let me buy some weed. I'm like, I ain't the weed, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I ain't the weed, man. <laughs> just oh, shook. Wow. Yeah, I ain't the motherfucking <laughs> weed, man. Nigga, it just shook off me, right? I said, oh, hell no. I'm coming to your session. At least have a tree for a nigga or something. Yeah. I'm going to buy. I ain't want no free weed. So that, that rubbed me the wrong way, man. So I did, I did, it's two doors. Yeah. You go through one door, there's another door. I didn't even get through the second door. I, when Pac ran out, I went right behind him, went down the hallway, went fuck with Snoop, Daz, and them. They had weed on the table. Man, roll up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was more biting. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was more love. I'm like, I'm going to go chill with these. Pac seemed like he mad at somebody. Let me get out this thing away, man. So. I went over there where it was peaceful and weedful. Uh, yeah, <laughs> A I lot said, of weed. Yeah, hey, yeah. hey, most niggas. And most niggas, you feel me? They ain't not gonna turn that. <laughs> hey, fuck that! I went straight to snooping them That's studio. That's crazy. Cool. <laughs> this Pac was angry that night. I, I didn't want to get his way. I ain't the motherfucking weed man. Like, okay, <laughs> like yelled it. Like he, he didn't say, "I ain't the weed man, my nigga." I ain't the motherfucking like he yelled it at me. That's like Pac beat him yelling shit. Like yeah. he yelled at me. Like, all right, my nigga. I put my hands up, all right, nigga. <laughs> Shit. Nah, that that is that is that is pretty crazy. Yeah, so I probably got to yell out on me. I'm like, all right, bro. I just yelled at me. I'm gone.